I've cycled on this bike 1,000 kilometers all the way from Cebu City to reach the incredible mountain region of Antique. It's been a hell of a journey, but it's only just getting started. The region of Antique is home to three of the toughest mountain hikes in the Philippines. They're known as the Pane Trilogy. First up, I'm going to be attempting the hardest one, Mount Baloy. The Philippines has a difficulty rating system for its mountains from 1 to 9. The three mountains in the trilogy are rated 8, 8 and 9. The first mountain I'll be taking on is Mount Baloy, which is rated 9 and is known as the hardest hike in the Philippines. First, I'll give you a quick recap of how I ended up here in Antique, all the way from Dumaguete in Negros. Over the course of two days, I cycled more than 225 kilometers to make it for the last ferry from Bacolod to Iloilo. I quickly fled the urban hustle of Ilo City to make the two-day journey to the west coast of Panay to arrive here in Antique. So here I am, tired and fatigued, legs feeling like bricks, but I'm ready to take on the Panay Trilogy. So let's go trekking. This journey begins in the small mountain town of Valderrama where we stayed one night before catching one of the craziest motorbike rides through a single track in the jungle to reach the small barangay town of San Agustin. We then stayed one night at San Agustin getting all of our permits sorted and now we've headed out on our four-day expedition of Mount Baloy straight into the river trekking, shoes are wet, now we're on a beautiful single track, mountains all around us. It's going to be fantastic and it's going to be a challenge. We've been on the trail for just 10 minutes. We're already waist deep in water. You know this one's going to be an adventure for the books. I was told when you climb Baloy you can expect two things. First, to be wet for 90% of the journey, and two, to be covered in leeches. So far, we've crossed the river up to the waist, and now it's raining, so I'm just looking out for the leeches now. offered us some malai so it's time to try a little local fish now we'll try a bit of yeah it's pretty nice smoked river fish malai Okay guys, that's the last of the river crossings and this is Benito, one of the guides from Valderrama who's helped a lot during this process of getting the permits and making sure that everything uh, with this hike went ahead, so cheers buddy. We have one more river crossing to go and then we're heading up that mountain to begin the incline for the trip into the forest. Alright guys, we've made it past camp one and we're on our way to camp two, which will be our resting place for tonight. And it's getting steep. Mm -hmm. 
This is Marmar, our other local guide. We're making the last few steps to Camp 2, our resting place for the night. How about I show you what it looks like from the air? Day one of hiking done, logged about 850 meters of incline, made it up through those rivers and then the incline through the forest. And now we're here at camp two. We bypassed camp one, we've got our nice setup, we've got my red tent and the boys have their black tarp going on. And we're gonna hang out here and head off early in the morning to make an assault on this all the way to the summit, past camp three and to the summit, which will be at least 1300 meters of incline and it gets a lot more dense, thicker and wilder tomorrow. Good morning guys, we're rising and shining early here at Camp 2 on Mount Baloy because today is our summit assault. Pretty tough to get up this morning and put on all of the wet gear from yesterday but it's on, a little bit cold, warm coffee got us going this morning and we're going to be heading up and probably getting pretty wet soon into the jungle here on Mount Baloy. All of the elders in San Agustin said three things. You're going to be wet the whole time, you're going to be attacked by leeches and that some people cried on the ascent from camp two to camp three. I'm going to see how today unfolds but so far all I am is wet, no leeches and no tears. And we're off, day two, Mount Paloy. Whoa. Plan is to reach camp three and then summit assault. the bell has struck seven and my leech count is at 21 they weren't wrong the leeches are out here these blood suckers are attaching to my socks my hands my ankles luckily they're not the big ones that are difficult to get off you just kind of give a little pull and a flick but 21 in an hour is quite a big way to start when we're not even in the leech zone yet so could be a long day of leeches so the elders said, the tribal leaders say that this kind of crab is very nutritious in this mountain. You need to eat, eat this alive. <laughs> but uh, I don't think I will say. The trail has been non-stop steep since the moment we walked up. It doesn't look like it's stopping anytime soon. Onwards and upwards we go. did not expect it to be this bad. It's just gone 8 a.m. and my leech count is 74. Sometimes there's 10 or more on you. Very difficult to get off. They're not really causing any pain. 
or suffering, but they're just bloody annoying. It's going to be a long couple of days if it's this bad the whole way. I've come to realize that this trail poses more of a mental challenge than a physical challenge. Don't get me wrong, it's been pretty hard on the legs, but it's the leeches, the constant rain, the stinging nettles, the wind, the thick overgrown trail. It all starts to wear you down after a while. I can see why many people turn back and quit. That's not gonna happen for us, but I can see where the difficulties lie in this trail. It's almost 10 a.m. and the leech count is 100 plus. I've basically learned to coexist with them at this point. I've got about 20 attached to my shoe and my feet right now. They're not really doing anything to harm me, so maybe I'll just take them to the summit. We are crushing it. After four hours and 40 minutes, we've made it to camp three. Got a little clearing here in the forest. And we did 1200 meters of incline from camp two to camp three through some pretty wild terrain. So it's slow going, uh, but we didn't stop too much because every time you stop, you get infested with leeches. So quick, quick stuff down on the trail. And uh, we're gonna rest up here for a little bit, have lunch and then make our summit assault to Mount Baloy. All right, guys, we're heading up for our summit assault of Mount Baloy. I think about an hour and a half up this muddy track till we get to the summit of this damn mountain. incredible this enchanted forest is. We're just minutes away from the summit. This is how beautiful it is up here. If you don't like being wet 90% of the time, if you don't like leeches, if you don't like overgrown trails, and if you don't like a lot of incline, Mount Baloy is not for you. But if you love all those things, I'll see you at the summit, because here we are, Mount Baloy, done and dusted. So on day one, we had 850 meters of incline and about eight kilometers in distance. And on day two, 1530 meters of incline and 10 kilometers in distance. Keep in mind the trail is very arduous, very slow going, so those distances uh, may seem smaller than the challenge actually is. 
We're gonna take a coffee here at the summit. There's no view to enjoy. We're just completely immersed in this enchanted forest. Then we're gonna head back down to camp three. It'll take us about an hour. And we're gonna sleep there tonight amongst the leeches before heading back all the way to San Agustin, the barangay where we kicked off just yesterday. So a three day journey in the end. Cheers. <laughs> We've been completely immersed in a cloud for the last three or four hours, but if I'm lucky enough on the way down to get a clearing, I'll leave you guys with these drone shots.